In this mixture problem, we're looking at ticket sales for adult tickets and child tickets. Uh, we're told that the ticket office at the zoo sold 553 tickets one day. The receipts totaled $3,936. We're asked how many $9 adult tickets and how many $6 child tickets were sold. So what we're looking for is the number of adult tickets and the number of child tickets that were sold. So I set up this little table here where the number of a type of ticket times its value equals the total value. So the number of tickets, we'll just say A equals the number of adult tickets and C equals the number of child tickets. So A is the number of adult tickets in our table. Their value, we're told, is $9 each. So $9. So the total value is just $9 times the number of adult tickets. Similar scenario for children. We're looking at C for the number of child tickets. Their value are $6 each. So the total value is 6C. Now the total number of tickets sold was 553. And the total value of the tickets sold, both child and adult, was 3,936. So now we can set up a system of equations from this table. We know that the number of adult tickets plus the number of child tickets is 553, so A plus C equals 553. And we know $9 times the number of adult tickets plus $6 times the number of child tickets equals $3,936. So 9A plus 6C equals 3,936. So here's our system of equations. And now it's a matter of choosing which method we want to use to solve this equation, this system of equations. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in the example you saw in the lesson before this, they used elimination. So what can we multiply by to get rid of uh, one of the variables. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use substitution. If we solve our first equation for A, we get A equals, subtracting C from both sides, negative C plus 553. So now we can substitute that into our second equation, 9 times A, which is negative C plus 553 plus 6c equals 3,936. Distributing the 9, we get negative 9c plus 9 times 553 is 4,977 plus 6c equals our 3,936. Now if we subtract 4,977 from both sides, when we combine like terms, negative 6 or negative 9c plus 6c is negative 3c equals negative 1041. And last but not least, we divide both sides by negative 3, and we get 1041, negative 1041 divided by negative 3 is 347 child tickets. So now, as usual, our next step is substitute 
c equals 347. We can use either equation. I'm going to use both because one always checks the other. So a plus c equals 553. So a plus 347 equals 553. Subtract 347 from both sides. And we get A equals 553 minus 347, which is 206 adult tickets. And checking in the other equation, 9A plus 6C equals 3,936. So 9A plus 6 times 347 equals 3,936. So 9A plus 2,082, that's 6 times 347, equals 3,936. Subtract 2,082 from both sides and we get 9a equals 1,854 divide both sides by 9 and we get a equals thankfully 206 so, so far we've, d we've solved for the number of adult tickets sold was 206 and the number of child tickets sold was 347. So now to check, let's put those into our equations and see if they work. Remember A equals 206 and C equals 347. So our first equation A plus C equals 553 so we want to know does 206 plus 347 does that equal 553 and that does indeed equal 553 equals 553 so it checks in our first equation so then we have 9a plus 6c equals 3,936. 3, so does 9 times 206 plus 6 times 347, does that equal 3,936? So 9 times 206 is 1,000 854 6 times 347 is 2082 we still want to know does that equal 3936 and if we add those together we do get 3936 so it checks on our second equation as well so with 553 tickets sold and a total of $3,936 with $9 adult tickets and $6 ch child tickets, the number of adult tickets sold was 206 and the number of child tickets sold was 347.